Hey, what's going on everyone? In today's video, we'll be doing a showdown between Jasper AI and ChatGPT. For this challenge, I'll be generating a 2000 word blog post with Jasper AI and ChatGPT on the same topic, and I'll be testing to see which one is faster at generating the content. And also, I'll be testing the overall quality of the blog post in which we get back. So if you're torn between Jasper AI and ChatGPT, or if you just want to get more insight as to which one of these tools is better when it comes to long form generation, then this video will be for you. Let's go ahead and get started with Jasper AI. So to write the long form blog post, I'll be using the blog post starter. So this is going to be a template included in Jasper AI. This allows us to get started with generating our content quickly by generating our blog post title and intro paragraph. And then we can go ahead and add more um, content using the long form editor. The first step is generating the title for your blog post. And this is where you want to describe the blog post. So for this example, the blog post will be about how to turn your website visitors into customers for an e-commerce brand. Let's go ahead and generate some titles. And here we have the outputs or the titles, how to turn your website visitors into customers, seven proven ways and 10 ways to convert more of your website visitors into customers. So these titles are pretty decent, I would say. Not very creative in my opinion, but I'm definitely kind of right to the point and hits home as to what we're trying to write about. So I think the seven proven ways would be a good title here. So let's go ahead and click next. Now this is going to generate our intro paragraph. It's gonna take the title and it's gonna take the description and then generate our intro paragraph and you can also go ahead and add a keyword if you would like to do so. So these are the outputs in which I got back and I'm not going to go ahead and read through every single one of these paragraphs but I think um, the third paragraph is pretty relevant to what we're trying to write about. It mentions I'm um, running an e-commerce brand and it kind of talks about the issues that people may be facing trying to optimize their websites for conversions. So again a very straight to the point um, article intro in which we're able to get back from Jasper AI. So that's the end of the workflow. You wanna go ahead and click finish. And now you can actually go ahead and start adding more content onto your blog post. And when using Jasper, it's very easy to do so. So on the left-hand side here, you have the various templates in which you can choose from. And it's always a good idea to use the templates because you're able to get much more better quality um, in terms of your content outputs. So the first thing that we wanna do, because now we have our intro, let's go ahead and generate our outline. So we're gonna use the blog post outline feature. And again, we're just going to copy our title here. So how to turn your website visitors into customers. That's our blog post title. We're gonna leave the tone of voice blank and we're gonna generate a blog post outline. So these are the outlines in which we got back. Um, pretty decent, but again, very straight to the point. Not very creative if I'm being honest. But um, again, I think these are pretty good. So let's go ahead and use the first outline here. So we're gonna copy it and then we're gonna paste it over here. Okay, so this is our outline. We have our intro and we have our title. Now let's go ahead and start generating some paragraphs for these specific outlines. When it's time for you to generate your paragraphs, there's a couple of ways in which you can do so. You can use the Jasper command to ask it to write about that specific paragraph, or you can use the paragraph template on the left hand side here. So this is a paragraph generator, and this will generate a paragraph based upon your um, input. So let's try a couple of different methods to see which one is able to give us the best quality content. In order to get more relevant content, I'll add the title and also add the subheading so that the AI has some more context so we're able to get better outputs. So I think the second paragraph is fairly good. So you can actually go ahead and just click paste a document and it'll paste wherever your cursor is on the actual document. So go ahead and click that. And as you can see, boom, that um, paragraph has now been added in. So let's say you wanted to actually expand on this. There's a couple of ways in which you can do so. You can either go ahead and just click uh, compose and maybe the AI will have enough context and it will be able to continue this. Or you can start by writing a sentence um, sort of prompting the AI and then clicking compose and having the AI finish your sentence. So let's go ahead and just try hitting compose and see what we're, what we're able to get back from Jasper AI. Okay, so as you can see, it went to number two. Let's go ahead and change this to longer, hit compose again, and let's see if we're able to get more content here. So that happens sometimes with Jasper. Um, it just kind of goes on to the next point. But again, what you can do is you can continue um, generating with Jasper and then you can go back and add more content onto those specific paragraphs and when the AI stops go ahead and run a command such as continue writing and the AI will understand the context and you want to highlight it and click command enter and that will launch the command from Jasper AI and that's how you're able to really um, get more content out of your paragraphs when using Jasper. And when Jasper starts to repeat itself, just go ahead and remove that. And you probably need to add more inputs in order to get better outputs. So again, I'm just gonna go up here. We're at 1700 words. I'm gonna try to expand this paragraph. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing, continue writing. 
And as you can see here, Jasper added in a new headline. So make sure your website is optimized for conversions. Um, let's see if that's already been there. Optimize your website for conversions. So it did repeat um, that headline there. So I would probably remove that and add something else instead. Okay, so again, we just prompted um, the AI to expand on this point here. And as you can see, we probably will be able to hit that 2000 word um, by doing so. So there's a couple of different ways, as I mentioned in this video, that you can start getting more content for your blog post. You can use the templates on the left hand side here. You can use the one shot blog post generator. Um, you can use the paragraph generator or you can run commands um, using Jasper or just go ahead and hit the compose button. So as you can see, it's fairly easy to generate content with Jasper AI, but sometimes you do have to direct the AI a lot more um, and you have to have a little bit of experience using these AI copywriting tools in order to really get the best content when compared to ChatGPT. So now that we've generated the content on Jasper, let's go ahead and do the same thing on ChatGPT and compare the outputs. So let's head over to ChatGPT and I'm gonna start by asking it to write an intro paragraph for a blog post about the same title. And here's the intro in which we got back. The main difference I would say between ChatGPT and um, Jasper is that when you generate content on Jasper, you have a variety of different um, paragraphs in which you can choose from. So if you don't like the output, you can generate a new output or select a different one. With ChatGPT, you kind of have only one output that you can choose from, but again, you always have the um, ability to regenerate the response. So um, I guess it's just sort of the design is a little bit easier to use on um, Jasper compared to ChatGPT. But again, if you wanted to generate any new response, you can always go ahead and click that button and you'll get a new paragraph to choose from. So now I've asked it to write an extensive outline for the blog post topic based on this intro. Okay, so we have the introduction, we have the user experience, we have some points under that, we have marketing techniques, website optimization, and conclusion. So when it's time to generate paragraphs on ChatGPT, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So there's a couple of ways in which you can go about doing so. The most effective way that I found is to actually go ahead and ask ChatGPT to generate each section by section um, for your outline. So you can either go ahead and generate the first section, then generate the second section, and third and so on, or you can actually go ahead and generate each specific subsection of that outline. You'll save a lot of time if you do the full outline sections instead of doing one by one. But again, if you wanna get longer form content, you may have to go one by one um, when generating content using ChatGPT. And that can get a little bit confusing. So I recommend when to generate your content, you paste it on a Word doc, and then you just um, follow up your content on the Word doc instead of trying to put everything together on ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and give it a try and see how it works out. So we already have an intro. So I'm just going to go ahead and generate number two, which is user experience. So I'm gonna copy this outline. So I've asked ChatGPT to write an extensive blog post about the topic, how to turn your website visitors into customers using this outline, and I paste it in the outline there. So the reason why I actually asked it to write a blog post instead of writing a blog post paragraph was that you're able to get much higher um, quantity from the output when you ask it to write a blog post um, for that specific outline and usually it's really good at keeping the context so you can always go ahead and stitch together those um, outlines to get a full blog post so this is the output in which we got back as you can see very very in-depth um, and really extensive content here that we're getting back and also very well formatted as well and that's what ChatGPT does it really allows you to generate high quality content that you can um, have no issues posting on your blog post because it's very um, user friendly and very intuitive. And because we asked it to generate a um, full length article, it has a conclusion, but you can actually go ahead and remove this or repurpose this just for the last paragraph of that section. So let's go ahead and copy this over and I'm gonna paste this into my um, Google Doc. And if your content is formatted weirdly, when you copy it over from ChatGPT, just search up HTML cleanup, paste your content in there, wash it, copy it, and then go ahead and repaste it. And all of the weird formatting issues should be resolved by doing so. So again, let's go ahead and continue generating our content using ChatGPT. So that was our first outline. Let's go ahead and do the second one, which is gonna be marketing techniques. So again, I'm gonna use the same prompt. Okay, so here's the output in which we got back. And again, as you can see, really, really well done by ChatGPT. Very in-depth and um, just formatted really nicely here. So again, we can go ahead and copy this over and I'm gonna paste it into our document. And we already have about a thousand words here, which is pretty awesome. And it was very easy to do with ChatGPT. So again, I'm gonna ask it to do the same thing. 
go ahead and paste it in there and let ChatGPT do its thing. Okay, so here's the output in which we got back. A little bit of a tip is if you want to expand on your content, you can either go ahead and copy that content in to ChatGPT and ask it to expand on that specific point. I think that's the most effective method. If you want to save some time, you can simply ask it to expand on specific points. So for this example, so I've asked it to rewrite this content, but expand on points one to four and be more in depth. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually get some longer content by doing so. Okay, so as we can see by the output here, it's definitely um, taken in to consideration that input and it's expanded on specific points uh, one to four so again that's another simple way for you to get more content using chat gpt so let's go ahead and copy this now over and we're going to paste this into um, our document here now let's go ahead and do a quick word count we're at about 1500 words and i'm going to generate the last pieces of content uh, with chat gpt Okay, so I've asked it to write a conclusion for this blog post, be as in-depth as possible, and write 500 words minimum. So let's go ahead and see if we can get um, that output from ChatGPT. Okay, so here is the output in which we go back, pretty long and pretty in-depth by ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and copy this, paste it into our document here, and this should be around 2,000 words. So it's about 1,984. So a couple more words and we'll hit that 2,000 word mark. But as you can see, um, it was very, very simple for us to generate a really in-depth article using ChatGPT. The content that we got back from Jasper AI was pretty decent, but I think it doesn't flow as well as um, the content in which we got back from ChatGPT. And again, we don't get those bullet points and those formatting um, that we get when using ChatGPT. So overall, I would say uh, when it comes to generating long-form content, it may be faster to do with Jasper AI because you have all of these features uh, to be able to generate content, but you're able to do much more customization when it comes to using ChatGPT. You can ask it to write in specific tones. ChatGPT remembers what you're writing about and is able to build that context so it's easier for you to then run commands that stay aligned with the content that you're trying to write about so i just think you have more personalization options and you're able to write much more in-depth and higher quality content using ChatGPT compared to jasper ai so as of now if i had to choose between ChatGPT and jasper ai i wouldn't have to go with ChatGPT. it's free it's easy to use and you're able to get much higher quality content yes you have to copy and paste your content into a word file and you have to kind of generate each specific section but um, it's a little bit of work for um, really, really good content. Yes, you have to do some work, but it's still worth it because you're able to get really good content out of ChatGPT. So that's a little bit of a comparison between ChatGPT and Jasper AI. Let me know in the comments below which one of these tools you like the best. Is there a method that you're using on Jasper AI that I didn't use in this video that allows you to get much higher quality content? Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you enjoyed this fun comparison. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.